As the senior police detective in the East Kimberley, Tanya McKenzie thought she'd seen it all. But late last year, she faced a run of disturbing crimes. Offending for juveniles is, is up substantially. Like, just um, the amount of juveniles that are now starting to get involved in, in that sexualised behaviour and is, um, is certainly concerning. Over the years, she dealt with more than 15 children accused of sexual assaults a significant increase on previous years. Among the cases before the Children's Court in the Kimberley are a 13-year-old boy arrested for indecently assaulting a 26-year-old woman in her home, then later raping a 34-year-old woman. Two 14-year-old boys who had sex with an 11-year-old girl, she fell pregnant and is currently raising the child. And an 11-year-old accused of groping a schoolteacher in a car park, then indecently assaulting two women at train stations. I don't want to see an escalation in in that behaviour. I mean, that's a, that's the first step of, you know, indecent sort of behaviour, you know. Karen Flanagan has been researching sexual behaviour amongst children for more than a decade. The reason children engage in sexually abusive behaviours can be because of their own history of trauma and they're trying to make sense of it. Worryingly though, a new and emerging trend is the exposure to pornography online. Children can only be prosecuted for sex offences if they're aged 10 years or over and if convicted they're usually sent to juvenile detention. But once in custody, specialised treatment programs are limited and advocates say their quality varies greatly. It's absolutely critical because we would, we know that investing in prevention and early intervention will definitely yield, re, yield really productive results. Police and social workers say what worries them most is some highly sexualised children are continuing to commit offences after serving time in detention. But in a statement, the WA Department of Corrective Services says specialised treatment programs are in place. Erin Park, ABC News, Broome.